Immunotherapy to treat cancer has been around for a while, but new research is making headway in directions that are both exciting and are giving hope to patients fighting cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Shubham Pant, an oncologist in Houston, Texas, and I'll try to demystify immunotherapy for you. Let's first understand how we get cancer. Cancer occurs when a cell in our body undergoes a mutation. Think of the body like an assembly line. Normally, the human body is really resilient. Whenever there is a defective part, the body just removes it. But sometimes the mechanism fails and defective cells go rogue and starts to multiply, leading to the spread of cancer. We traditionally treat cancer by attacking the cell using chemotherapy, radiation and surgery. This medicine leaves you exhausted and the body fails to fight back. Now imagine if instead of depending upon these drugs, we can just train the body's own immune system to fight these rogue cancer cells. Think of the body like a war zone. Cancer cells are the enemy and your immune system is defending the borders. One of the main defenses against cancer are special cells called the T cells. They are like the soldiers in our body who strategize, multiply and attack. But here's the catch. Tumors are smart. They turn on a safety switch to prevent T cells from attacking them. This safety switch is called a checkpoint. Now enter these new class of drugs called the checkpoint inhibitors, the newest kids on the block. These drugs remove the breaks on the immune system so that the T cells can go and destroy the enemy. From just a concept a decade ago, immunotherapy has moved rapidly in the last few years and has been approved to treat a number of different cancers which include bladder cancer, head and neck cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, kidney cancer, and melanoma. Immunotherapy has great potential because it trains the body's immune system to continuously fight the rogue cancer cells. With literally thousands of trials going on to develop different drug combinations, this is just the beginning in our fight against cancer.